Uh, how about Walt Disney World costs a fortune these days? So we put our heads together to find some ways you can have a romantic time at WDW without blowing the budget. And I don't just mean spooching on the back row of the bus back to the resort. So who wants to go first? Tell us, Disney date on a budget of $50 or less. Go on, I'll go first. Might as well. OK, so you're at the boardwalk. You go to Ample Hills Creamery for an ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd go first. I knew you'd go first. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Brilliant. I'll start again. You're at the boardwalk. You get it. <laughs> I can't even say it. <laughs> Ample Hills Creamery. That's the one. Okay, so you're at the boardwalk. You go to Ample Hills Creamery for an ice cream. You take a slow stroll with the ice cream round to the beach at um, Yacht and Beach Club. And it's getting dark and Epcot Forever with fireworks going on in the background. All it costs you is an ice cream. So about $12. That's my Disney date on a budget. Oh. Yeah, cheap night out there, Ben. Yep. Lovely. So many nice things for me to look forward to. And also it's cheaper, especially if you're on the dining plan. You can use a snack for it. <laughs> Cheap, <laughs> Cheap day. Yeah. No expenses spared, Becca. Oh, I know, aren't I lucky? <laughs> Who's next? I'll go next. Mine is a little bit more elaborate than that. I'm a sucker for a stroll around Epcot's Food and Wine Festival. And during February, we have the opportunity to enjoy something similar albeit a scaled down version during the Epcot Festival of the Arts. This looks a great festival with beautiful visual displays, fun activities, live music and even eye popping food. So assuming you have park tickets already, what could you get for your 50 bucks? Well, I couldn't find prices online, but usually dishes at the festivals hover around five to eight dollars. So with careful planning and a willingness to share, you can have a light but enjoyable meal. And as Lady in the Tramp can attest, sharing food can be so romantic. So how about starting with some lobster chips from the refreshment port? These are house-made potato chips with lobster and a lobster bisque cheese sauce, pickled jalapenos and citrus cream. Maybe skip the pickled jalapenos if it's a first date. At the Masterpiece Kitchen, you can follow up with some wild mushroom risotto with parmesan, truffle shavings and a Zinfandel reduction. Truffle is just one of those luxurious foods that really spells date night to me. And a little does go a long way. And then you can head to the artist's table for a chocolate and beer pairing flight, drink and dessert at one go. Finally, you can linger near the America Gardens Theatre to catch some big Broadway names performing. Dinner and a show. What's not to like? That's Very good. Yeah. yeah. Mm, sounds creative. Lovely. Well done, Joe. Very nice. Very nice. You need to be careful about what you eat, though, if you're on a date. <laughs> Absolutely. Again, n- no garlic chips. No. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're both happy. What a cheese. Uh, does cheese have a, like, cheese has a nasty smell. <laughs> Depends on the cheese. <laughs> I saw somebody on my Facebook feed today had changed their status to in a relationship with cheese. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, I, I can uh, I can relate. Actually, to that. it wasn't yours. It wasn't <laughs> mine, no, but I can relate. Well, I'll go next. Um, and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to add an extra five dollars because uh, I believe it is f- fifty-five dollars now, not forty-five w- when we did it to go on a carriage ride around Port Orleans. It's really, really nice. It's one of, it's it's a great thing to do. Uh we, we really enjoyed it, didn't we? We did. Now, as I said when we did it it was forty five, I believe. Now it's fifty five, so I'm pushing it a little bit. Um it didn't even spoil it when they waited for the horse to relieve themselves on the grass in uh <laughs> in Port Orleans. <laughs> But, uh, oh, that might be your recollection of further. <laughs> that well remembered romantic evening, Peter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> when, the, when, the, when the horse was defecating. 
<laughs> it was a chilly night. Uh, so sat, sat, sat next to each other in a carriage with a blanket. How long, sorry, Peter, how long does the ride last for? It was uh, nearly an hour. Yeah, it was quite long. And... <laughs> 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 Come on, play the cold night. <laughs> yes, it lasted a, about an hour. It um, lasted about an hour. It was a nice slow uh, journey around the resort. We got to see uh, French Quarter as well. <laughs> trying to move on from thinking about the horse here. <laughs> you get a long trip in the carriage. Okay. It takes you right round both French Quarter and Riverside. Riverside. And yeah, it's 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 really, really worth it and it is a really romantic thing to do. Who's next? I'll go next. I've cho- I've chosen a, a little hidden gem of an opportunity at Walt Disney World. And there's no need for a park ticket. And at a cost of just forty five dollars for half an hour. You can actually hire your own motorboat and explore Bay Lake and the Seven Seas Lagoon. You get spectacular views of Discovery Island, Wilderness Lodge, Magic Kingdom, and each of the monorail resorts. And the view of each of them is completely unique. Bring a picnic to enjoy whilst on board. There's no need for a reservation. You just turn up and you can actually add more time if you want to. But the choice of boats at a fraction of the price of the speciality cruises is really something that I feel would be a really good day out and a good opportunity to actually go and do something that's completely different that nobody else knows an awful lot about. Cool. Thanks, John. I think it's a really good idea. I didn't know it was that cheap to rent a boat, actually. Yeah. It is, is, but don't tell anybody. (laughs) Also, you better get Just between us, is it? Yes. You'll be able to get the um, on the boat. You'll be able to see what's happening with reflections. The new resort that's being built. Mm. Yeah, it's, it's lovely, Ben. Because mm. actually, I must admit, we we did it last summer, uh, and the boat that we actually got was a Sun Tracker, which holds ten guests. Um, there, there was eight of us, because obviously we went on a, a smoochy smoochy sort of husband wife wife thing. We were actually taking all the kids and another family with us as well. But it was to celebrate my birthday. Uh, a fantastic day out and at the time they were still they were still clearing um river country and so for me that was su- that was such a really important thing because you get to see discovery island then we got to take the boat a little bit closer towards river country while it was still there um and one of the worst things of what worst things of all we actually saw this a tree that's actually within bay lake where if you're a retiring captain from um the any of the disney river cruises or anything like that you throw your white trainers over this tree when you retire no not something i've really known about before but when we saw it it was just like one of them things but to actually see discovery island and then to go into the sort of seven seas lagoon and it, and to see magic kingdom from such a a peculiar place bearing in mind if you are driving your boat to keep an eye out for the ferry because they get a bit twitchy when you <laughs> when you're up in, when you're in the when you're in the ferry lane going towards Magic Kingdom, but it's it's a brilliant a brilliant experience, and at, you know forty five dollars for half an hour is is an absolute snip and uh, no, really really worth doing. We found out about that tree with the um, white trainers a couple of years ago, so I've never heard about it before. Yeah, one of the um, skippers on the boat over to Wilderness Lodge told us about it i think it was yeah. Lodge. Yeah, it probably would have been wilder sludge yeah you could see it on that so who's next i'll go next <clears throat> so mine first involves a trip to one of the many confectionaries on property at disney for some chocolate dipped strawberries mm. and then a trip over to animal kingdom lodge grab a nice cup of coffee and sit down and watch the animals just as the sun is setting, drinking your coffee and eating those strawberries. $35 if you want a good dozen. And the price for the coffee, yeah. Or you can be a bit more expensive and get a nice bottle of wine. 
Mm. That's your budget, John. <laughs> So there's one got- tip I was going to say. If anyone is going out and celebrating um, an anniversary, let um, your front desk know. Because we arranged for um, a surprise for um, our fifth wedding anniversary and we got a plate of um, chocolate covered strawberries gifted to us. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, yeah. But Mickey Magic. When we went for our anniversary, we got anniversary badges and extra desserts were coming out of our ears. <laughs> <laughs> and it's I'd like to celebrate with you um, and it's just nice to have someone walk past you and say happy yeah, anniversary or happy birthday or congratulations yeah i so agree no matter what you're celebrating grab those badges from either your hotel or guest services, guest services. yeah right. who's left oh, anybody me. oh claire yeah. claire so um the caveat to this is that if Dan and I go out on a night, just the two of us, we are not the couple to go for the candlelit meal. We, um, we're the people that go for a curry on Valentine's night. But we leave it a couple of days later because we don't want to go out with all the other people. Um, so my night as a date night could be a little bit different. It's It's got something for everyone. Um, so I would start the evening, an early evening drink on the, uh, the Boathouse Dockside Bar which is on the little pier outside the boathouse um, at Disney Springs. Um, and I'd start the evening with a couple of strawberry gin fizzes, one each. They're about $13 each um, and half a dozen oysters. Um, and the best ones that we found are the, they're called the Lucky Ducks and they are uh, grown especially for the boathouse. So that's the only expenditure on the evening. It comes to exactly $50, so I'm within budget. That's without tip, but we won't talk about that. Um, and then from Disney Springs, uh, jump on the boat to Port Orleans Riverside. Um, now, I would suggest going on a Wednesday to a Saturday because from 8.30 until midnight, you can go and catch Yeehaw Bob uh, and his show, which is loads of fun. So a bit of romantic, sun going down outside the, the um, at Disney Springs and it's beautiful sitting around the bar outside the the um, boathouse watching the sunset then a bit of fun over it with yeehaw bob that would be uh that'd be my choice bang on fifty dollars and you don't need a park ticket yeah that's good i'm not shot it includes alcohol (laughs) (laughs) so rude (laughs) has anyone ever been to see yeehaw bob no yes yes he's funny he's brilliant Mm. all i've seen is a few clips on youtube yeah. He is hilarious. Yeah. Yeah. We stayed at River at the Riverside first time we went and yeah, he's brilliant. Mm. Sammy. Yes, yeah, so I thought I would go for a completely free um date. Uh well, in regards to buying stuff on Disney property anyway. Um you are allowed to take food into the parks. Um this is a question that a lot of people ask. You are as long as there's no alcoholic, alcoholic, <laughs> alcohol, as long as there's no alcohol, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Have you had any alcohol recently? Oh, I haven't, I'm just tired. As long as there's no alcoholic beverages and no glass containers, no ice, and the bag or container can't be larger than 24 by 15 by 18 inches. I checked all this on the website. It's legit. Um, you can bring food in. So I would pack a little picnic um, and a little blanket and take it to Magic Kingdom. I w- maybe even like a wee breakfast picnic, like some croissants or something, or like an early dinner type. Because I wouldn't want to sit in the sun <laughs> like um, between 12 and 2 or 3. But any time outside those hours, uh, a wee a wee picnic out in front of Plaza Gardens, in front of the castle, just kind of one of my favourite things to do is people watch. I love to just kind of sit and and watch people and take it all in. That sounds very nice. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Off with an ice cream from um, the plaza. Yeah, I was going to say um, if you wanted to, you know, add a Disney expense, you could get a, a, an ice cream for dessert um, from from oh. Disney. I think that's a good idea, Sammy, and I think one of the best things about where they where they updated the 
the central hub a few years ago was to put the astroturf in that yeah. actually yeah. you know it does rain in orlando funny enough um <laughs> and any grass just becomes a quagmire so having the astro there means that you can sit on it and if it gets wet then it dries off really quickly so being able to do that with a little picnic and actually Yogi bear would say a picnic <laughs> the, the sight lines are so much better as well if yeah. you look if you look back on historical photographs from the 80s in particular the trees that were planted within the hub had actually started to grow to such an extent that <laughs> if you if you were at the astro turf bit you wouldn't see a, an awful lot and once they removed them it, it's added an awful lot to that area and it really is it's not a bad spot really there so my date night is using the full budget but also taking advantage of a lot of uh free things free entertainment uh free transport and the likes because i like a good bargain and especially if I'm spending a full 50 dollars, i want to get something in addition to it uh, so we're going to start off wherever we're staying one of the disney resorts we'll get the boat uh sorry we'll get the the bus to magic kingdom so we'll be at the magic kingdom bus stop and then we're going to walk over and we're going to get the boat to the poly we're going to go in the poly but we're going to take a nice little walk hopefully as the sun's going down from the poly over to the grand floridian um we'll start and pay our respects at the lighthouse and then we'll go into the grand floridian have a meander around and have a little listen to the band outside meisner's lounge if it still is meisner's lounge i know it was getting redone no i can't remember the name of it. what's the name of it now the enchanted, rose. The enchanted rose the enchanted rose I've had a lovely night in Miser's Lounge as well. I've got some really nice memories off yeah, the me honeymoon there. Yeah, that's it's a really shame. Not, it was really nice. Because they've sort of expanded mm. it. And yeah, the where they were the band. downstairs, I think. Right. We had, on our honeymoon, we went in there one night. We got a bottle of champagne. I remember thinking it was quite reasonable as well. I don't know if just the exchange rate was better back then. And then uh, we'd lost, it was our honeymoon, we'd lost uh, Emma's gran the week before the wedding. And then we were sitting in Meisner's Lounge, raising a glass of champagne to her gran. And then the band played the song from her funeral. Played her, when I, when I fall in love, it will be Gosh, forever. Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't so it funny how crazy. things just, just happen like that sometimes? Yeah. yeah. So it's kind of, it was a lovely little night. So it's a shame that's gone. Um, but we will find the other location of the band on this date night. And we'll listen to the band for free. Hopefully they'll play a, a song that uh, resonates with us. And then we'll go up to the monorail stop, get the monorail from the Grand Floridian to the Contemporary. And hopefully, if we're early enough and we're lucky, we'll go up and we'll get a seat in the Cali Grill Lounge. So this is where we spend our budget. So we've got a highlight beer for me, a glass of Sauvignon for my date, and something to eat to fill the budget. So we've got either pepperoni pizza or a cheese board. And that brings us to a grand total of $49.50, not including tip. So they're going to get a nice 50 cent and we will run when they, uh, when they chase us. But because we're up in Cali Grill Lounge, we've got a bit more free entertainment because of its uh, certain evenings, certain times, we'll get the fireworks. So that'd be quite nice. And uh, if we're slow with our drinks because we don't have a budget for a second drink, we can take our drinks out onto the, uh, the viewing platform and enjoy those as the fireworks sort of frame our night for us. What do you think? You had me at cheese board. <laughs> uh, I think cheese, pla- cheese, cheese board and also meat platter as well, for roughly the same price, about $23. I think you can add on a bit more for your tip as well, Lloyd. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I would do. Just before we have everyone <laughs> phoning and complaining. Last time we were at Cali Grill as well, with the uh, fireworks about to start, everyone was going out onto the nearest viewing platform. Uh, server told us to go out on the other one where it's quieter but you still got i think you've got a slightly better view as well weirdly um so when everyone's heading out one way go out the other you get a bit more of a private experience um yeah so a bit bit of a hotel tour food and drink fireworks music all for 50 dollars i'm happy with that lovely have we all done california grill before yeah 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 no no it's no i haven't actually it's it's one of the two uh yeah two apart from victoria and albert's but we've got kids so that doesn't really work um the two signatures we haven't done haven't mm. done that haven't done narcissus 
It's the only signature we've done. I'd say it's the only one we have done. To be honest, it wasn't our favourite. Um, we were very late getting there because there were delays on the monorail, serious delays on the monorail. We arrived about half an hour late. And uh, so we were really rushed. Um, and the service felt very brusque. It was my birthday and it was probably the least special part of the day. We had we breakfast at um, Ohana with Lilo and Stitch and so on. And, and that was brilliant. Uh, we did uh, mini golf, Fantasia golf. We had a bit of time to relax back at Port Orleans and we were going on to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. And uh, so our meal was at California Grill and it was really the least special part of the day. It felt very rushed and, and the service was very indifferent. Oh. Mm-hmm. And, the service kept calling, and the server kept calling Jill dear. Yeah. Hello, dear. Hello, dear. What can I get you, dear? (laughs) What's for you, my dear? (laughs) We've had a sort of opposite experience at Cali Grill. It was like it was one of the most special nights we had on our honeymoon. Knew it was our honeymoon when we checked in downstairs. Um, Went up in the lift. Went over to the table. They had us a table by the window uh, with little Mickey glitter things. You know those annoying things you get sometimes with birthday cards or presents yeah. you unwrap and they go all over the floor and you can never hoover yeah. them up. <laughs> well, our table's covered in those. Uh, so that was nice. And then we got um, the server came over two glasses of champagne for us. Wow. Uh, which wasn't from Disney. It was from a couple we were chatting to on the lift, in the lift on the way wow. up. Aww. They sent it over. They said they re- we reminded us, we reminded them of them on their honeymoon 20 years ago when they'd come to Disney for it. Oh, oh. So he sent it over for us. So that was cool. And then um, out on the veranda for the fireworks after the meal. Well, the meal was lovely. Mm. And um, like an ox, I think it was, was it an ox? No, bison steak. Ooh, that nice. was great, rare, lovely, pink. Mm. Oh, it was beautiful. Um, was it wrapped in aubergine? <laughs> just there it was it was just mooing i had to take the horns off and that oh, was beautiful <laughs> oh it was spot on for me that and then uh out on the the viewing uh platform for the fireworks which was really really emotional i don't know if it was the woodford reserve i was drinking or the fireworks that or the moment that made me a little bit tearful <laughs> and then as we were leaving we met this uh i saw this girl at the bar that i'd seen in epcot that day and she'd asked me about the ipa I'd bought from one of the little stands in the food and drink festival. So as I was passing, I just said, oh, would you like that beer today? And she, she clocked, she remembered me from the daytime. She was there with her husband and um, we had a few drinks with them. And then they got, were quite tipsy and picked up our tab at the end oh, of the night as well. Oh, which was nice. great. Wow. Which would have been about eight. We were, me and the, the chat were drinking a lot of Woodford Reserve. We probably went through about three quarters, of, well, no, probably half a bottle, maybe more. And the girls were on wine and Bailey's. And then, yeah, they just picked it up. Wow. You know that yeah. they, when, as soon as they hear this, they're going to chase you down. Yeah. You'll never find <laughs> me. The bill. <laughs> <laughs> they were to, she, like, Disney never let, let, uh, leave anyone stranded, do they, really, in the, uh, near the park. So we missed the last monorail. So we went down to the bus station. We climbed over a railing. The girl from this other couple ro- fell over and rolled down a little bit of the grass bank. Uh, uh, and this fella, the Disney uh, cast member, jogged over with his little radio, asked us where we were going. They were going to Polly. We were going to the Grand Floridian. And the next thing, just this bus, this private, this whole uh, <laughs> Disney bus pulls up to take us home. Wow. And then, was it the uh, sweep up the drunk people bus? It was, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we, we, the bus started moving. And within about five seconds, the girl from the couple was asleep and snoring. <laughs> <laughs> So we just say, can we go to the Grand Floridian first, please? Just drop us off. <laughs> yeah, that was a cracking night. Oh, well, so we've had this sort of opposite experience to you there, Jill, unfortunately. Yeah. 